It's been really fun to watch. Um, since Zach's always been a very caring kid. He loves his friends. He's got a goofy personality. He's always hung out with just sweet people. Um, and watching him go from the goofy little kid horsing around in our playroom with his little micro set of golf clubs up to now is, it's just been amazing to watch. I think he first picked up a club when he was one, one and a half. Uh, I was out on the course. We had a little plastic club for him. He used to chase, the, chase us around in the golf cart, holding onto the strap of the golf cart like he was water skiing. And you know, he would pick up a club and, and try to hit a couple balls. You know, it's been a journey, uh, one that we've tried to let him push himself as, as much as he could. Uh, and we're really excited about where, where he's taken it so far. I met Zach uh, a number of years ago uh, when he came to the club and uh, toured around and saw what we did and uh, decided to um, help out by organizing uh, a charity golf tournament that helped uh, benefit the Boys and Girls Club of Greenwich. It made a huge impact uh, on our operations. Um, donations, as I mentioned, make up uh, so much of, of the support that we get and they directly impact the kids. You know, I'm on the board of the Boys and Girls Club in Greenwich and have been for over 20 years. And we've been the beneficiary of Zach's hard work for the last several years in this, in this raise he does. And we're extremely uh, grateful for that because it's all these organizations like ours, ours need young people like Zach. Uh, coming up through the ranks basically and thinking about others and helping us you know execute on our mission so um, I think that the work he's doing has, has untold impact on a lot of organizations. There's a couple different organizations here that that the Metro Cup has supported the the first one we started with the the Met PGA Foundation uh, the head there Dan Frankel um, you know he's our first beneficiary uh, of, of the Metro Cup and, and the following year he put us in touch with a great group. Bridge Foundation was started uh, by founder of the Bridge Club out in the Hamptons and set it up so he could help underprivileged boys in Harlem that didn't have access to golf courses, educational facilities. These are kids that could be involved in AJGA events or helping to run tournaments or you know working at golf clubs, working in the in the sports industry. It'd be great to have you out out, out here and, and we did we were able to uh, to set up the the, the, the event that there was full participation across uh, both the golfers, Zach and his peers, and, and, and the foundation. It was really tremendous. Yeah, I mean, what they've done with the State Cup here in Connecticut's incredible. Um, I remember the first one they had, was it three or four years ago, and his involvement there and what it's grown to to have two courses and, you know, dozens of kids involved in raising all the money they have. Um, it's really amazing, and I know how much work he puts into it, and how seriously he takes it, and to see him get this award is really, really tremendous. He has a real foresight into what makes, um, you know, giving back to the community so important. And so um, it's really wonderful to see how not only the tournament has grown, but how he has in terms of his organization and impact with the tournament. He doesn't have to go out and dedicate his time to first tee and, and, and do all that extra work, but it just comes naturally to him. It's just the kind of kid that he is. Again, I think if you, you look a little bit deeper, it's got a lot to do with, with the support system and his mom and dad. He's, his, his family's incredible. Um, he, he just wants to be a better kid, I think, every day, whether it's in the community, in the classroom, uh, on the golf course. And he, he's doing a great job. He really, really is. David and I both feel very strongly about being able to give back to the community and to uh, watch our kid actually pick that up and implement that and do good things with it is, is great. Zach is incredibly kind and generous and very humble. Um, I actually didn't know what a fantastic golfer he was when I first met him. Ever since second grade, we've been really close and we really started playing golf back then and it's carried on the past 10 years into middle school and high school where now we're the two captains of the varsity team at our school. He's a great guy, he's really kind, and like I said, he welcomed me into uh, the King Golf Program and the King School, so he's a great leader and uh, has a lot of character. Zach really had a vision, and I think that really set him apart from other young people who were able to see the vision and carry it through and have direct impact. Um, so I think that's a, a unique qualification and character for a young person like Zach.